They were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared too. Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. Let's jump right into it. We, we got the sound bar back. We had a mystery of last week. Dude. Um, It was uh, kind of weird. I don't know. It's like what I told you earlier. It's like sometimes you can just be doing everything by the book, and then the computer decides, yeah. To fuck up. Not even to fuck up. I'm just going to do something else today. Exactly. So it was brought to our attention when we re- re- we pre-released our last week's episode that um, the soundbar wasn't running through. And if it was running, it was running through the headset. Right. So we're looking crazy having a conversation. I'll do it like that. Yay! Yeah, e- exactly. <laughs> exactly. So we're looking crazy having a conversation. And then, of course, the soundboard kind of emphasizes certain funny moments that we talk about oh, or yeah, certain yeah, serious moments. Explain that to yeah, 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 yeah. But, the, give it, this but it, it was just uh, here's how the structure of the soundboard yeah, works. You it know, was, uh, it was just it was just funny. Set up the bowling pin punchline, and then because you know, because <clears throat> you know, we don't have a production team. We are the production team. <laughs> so yeah, we got it. We got it all fixed. That's good though. Yeah. When you finally get around to that, you know? no, yeah, for sure, for sure. At so, least you'll know. So what the if fuck it fucks is going up, on. we can yell at. I'm just joking. We're not That's terrible. At <laughs> what a what a way to advertise that, you Jeff. What? That's terrible. We're never getting anywhere. We're anymore. not. We're not going to yell at you guys. We're, I promise. I'll beat them up. I'll go to jail. <laughs> I'll go to jail if Jeff uh, yells shit. at you. Oh uh, shit! But uh, no, man. Um. Last week's episode did uh did very well. Um, I know we did we did a rewind on Thursday, so we didn't release one on Thursday. But Tuesday was did very well. Um, research was done by Sam, and of course she's working on another project for us, so that'll be coming soon. <laughs> Thanks a lot for helping us on that. Um, um, so we'll probably have that pretty uh pretty soon for you, and probably next week's episode. Um, but. No, um, if you guys can hear my voice, I was auditioning for Batman, but I didn't get it because they said I was too black. You I what? You. Oh, my God. I'm just kidding. I'm oh, just my kidding. God. I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, I'm getting over uh, a cold, and uh, I, I'm kind of slowly getting my voice back. Um, the sickness is gone. I can breathe and all that stuff like that, but I've lost my voice because my brother keeps playing anime that I yell at. I'm dead. So it's... Uh, <laughs> it's it's oh, his, this is my fault. It's his fault. He he doesn't want to play that boring stuff. He just keeps. Playing it's not my song. fault. You be tweaking and shit, it's, bro. It's, it's, it's his nah, fault. Nah, that should be good as hell. It is. It is. And and that's the thing too. And it's like, nah, shit. I always tell people if you love something and I don't see you tweaking over it, I can't trust you, bro. Yeah, exactly. I can't trust you. Can't tell me you love something and then don't tweak over it. Exactly. Like, so everyone's on, everyone's kind of just everyone's kind of just asking me like, what happened to your voice? Are you right. sick? And I said, well, I was sick, but. Um, what's mostly causing my voice to be gone is I was been yelling at anime as my voice is trying to heal. <laughs> bro, went around. I was yelling at the TV. I That's some old man I shit. Was, if you don't stop, get, get off my lawn! <laughs> Fucking Naruto! Get off my lawn! <laughs> God damn, his son sucks. <laughs> oh man, that, that Naruto! That, that Naruto, where is where where he at? I'm dead. But no, yes. So, um. Uh, that that too, and uh, of course, uh, we're gonna tell another little story of how I almost died the other day. So how that happen? <laughs> I was being negligent. Wait, did I know about how you almost died? Oh yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah, of course, because I called you <laughs> right down 14th the 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 street. So no, 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 so I almost died the other day, and uh, I was late to work, but I didn't give a shit because um, I was not gonna go in. Uh, with a 
you weren't gonna go in at all. That you was were gonna, gonna go in, in our yes. box. Yeah, That's exactly. what you were gonna go in. Exactly. You were going in the back of an ambulance. So, um, but um uh so the the rotors on my on my car and uh, well my brake gave out and slipped and then of course fucked uh, well the rotors were already fucked up, but fucked it up even more. And then of course the car was just grinding and i can smell burning so i did a ue went back home and told my brother if i can borrow his car because i was not going to drive 32 miles to work uh to potentially not make it because i couldn't break because it was already di- it, i couldn't even back up oh no, that's to- you know what that sounds like to me what final uh, destination nope a day off <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a fucking uh, day shit. off shit what the hell? But that you know me, like like, like as soon as I off. came back, you're like, so are you not going to work? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I have to go to work, or we ain't living in here. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. So I feel that. Uh, so um, yeah. So I literally, so I literally came back home, grabbed this car, and then of course today, um, we we went ahead and installed the fr- the new rotor and the front, and we also changed the front two brakes too, mm-hmm. um, because we're gonna uh. We decided to change one side, but then we were like, all right, it doesn't make any sense. Then the same shit's going to happen to the other side, so might as well just get two front brakes, go ahead and change it out. Um, come to find out my tires also need to be changed, too. That's come terrible. to find out the... <laughs> the whole car needs to be changed. Yes, the whole yeah. car, yes. Throw the whole yes. shit away. Yes, bro. not right. right. All right. I'm like, I told mom, I'm like, mom, I'm going back to Toyota because I never, nah, I never nah, had this crazy. Fu- I never had this fucking problem. But I, get, I switched to Kia. You know, I had Toyota when I... Uh, when I graduated high school for so for no, college, no, you, you mean Mia? You you, you switched yeah. to Mia because I'm about to slander the fuck out of them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh Mia, I got yeah, you. Yeah, you yeah. switched to Mia. I switched to Mia, so because I wanted to try something different. Because I had Toyota in the 04, mm-hmm. then I jumped to an 07, and then um, brother was like, "Try something different." I baited you, bro. Well, cause <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I don't think you baited me because you gotta look at it this way. You had a 2012 mm-hmm. Kia, and those were the good engines. Those were the good cars. Right. Those were the ones that were right. they're trying to buy back from you because they knew how good it was. Right, that shit so, was lasting exactly, too long. and they knew they already knew how bad the Kia engine was because it, Hyundai and Kia are the same company, so they have the same engine. The oil burns if you do not if you did not know this. The oil burns, and on average, it's supposed to be a 5,000 mile change. But you end up having to change it every three thousand miles, or mm-hmm. even less, mm-hmm. or having to fill up um, in like um, three, three to four weeks, so a month, right? Before before you have to grab some extra oil uh, quartz and then fill it back up because they have an issue with their engine. And that's nothing that they can fit. Well, yeah, because uh, yeah. that that's the engine they're mass producing. Exactly, they'd have to rebuild the whole fucking engine, and they're not going to do that because it's absolutely cost not because yeah. they've been selling that same engine since like 2013. Exactly, they just gave it a new body, and then and then <sighs> everyone looked at the body and said, "Oh my god, this is a beautiful car." So that's tough. Fuck, fuck, whatever you. Because I've even had a, a couple associates tell me, "Oh yeah, my Kia engine died on me on 75, mm-hmm. and I had to get the whole engine replaced." And she's like, it's still giving me issues because uh, it's still burning oil. It's still the same engine. Yeah. So. Like, it's it's the whole thing. There was a potential class action lawsuit against them. Yes. But it never went through. Yeah, um, exactly. Like, um, when my engine gave out, what did I do? I spent almost $900. I getting, think they just, they did like a whole. They cleaned it? No, they did a recall thing. Like, just to cover up their tracks. They yeah. did a recall, like free engine repair or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. If you if you ended up getting but that was before defect, my time yeah a defective no I think it's still in did they charge you for the first time your engine was fucked yeah remember when I took it in was it under warranty no I right passed the warranty because mm. this was like three three years later no right. four yeah this was three years this was three years right so I, I it was this was three years later because I got the engine fixed two years ago and then it gave out that same year in the fall and what did I end up doing I ended up buying um. What do, you, what do we call? What is it called? Um, the spark plugs and the ignition coils. The ignition coils. So we changed all four spark plugs. Then we put two ignition coils, and um, it gave out. Mm-hmm. So we went back in, 
and then we changed one more ignition coil. Or we changed all four spark plugs, and so the engine started rattling again. So we changed uh, two ignition coils and all four spark plugs. Or uh, three ignition coils and all four spark plugs. So we had three new coils. One was old, and then new spark plugs. It's now shaking again. Now I got to change the last um, engine coil and see if it fixes itself. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to take it. But um, it's not. It's, yeah, right I, know, like I know. I know. But it's, it's like, not. it's like, yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, it's it's great. It's great. If I if somebody needs me to fix a car, I can uh, the minimal. But um, it's just frustrating that I have to keep wasting my own money because the spark plugs are 60 bucks for four of them. Mm -hmm. And then the ignition coil, one of them just alone is ninety five dollars before tax you might just need eventually i feel like it's gonna lead to uh engine replacement well that's why i'm going back to toyota <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying get, you, get yourself a nice a nice prius <laughs> the new ones the new ones the sports prius get the fuck out of here don't those, know. those look nice this is not the two doors no, i'm gonna try to get I'm, a, I'm, I'm trying to be like you nope I just got be like me. I just gotta grow my invisible hair back. Oh no, no. I only do you little what? sporty sporty coops. Yeah, the new Prius the new sporty Prius, the small I, one. No, I don't want that. No. No, I'm talking about me. Which is Why would you do that? Because you told me to go to Prius. Jeff, you white body motherfucker. Listen you, here. Nah, stop. I ain't trying to go back to that. Stop. I ain't buying I ain't buying Jeff, that built box. Nah. <laughs> you your Prius. Tripping. I ain't buying that Don't fan. get a period Prius, period, dude. Uh, then what why the you tell me to get a Prius? Because it was supposed to be yeah, all right, go I ahead. turned it serious. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably I'm probably getting like a Toyota <laughs> electric or something like that. All I would have to do is change your brake and tires. But I feel like those electrics are like throwaway electrics. They're not like anything serious because it's a universal platform that they just slapped a nice, cool body on. No, I feel it. You see what I'm saying? It, it feels plug and play rather than actual trim. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's like, what, the BZX4 or whatever? Yeah. There's no trims. It's just that's what it is. That's what it is, yeah. Because they're not fully invested in the whole electric gotcha. architecture. Remember, Toyota was is heavily against that. Yes. They want to push last, the hydrogen fuel cell. They're, they're last in the game. Right. Yeah, they'll have an electric line, but they really want to push their hydrogen fuel Do they have a hydrogen? Cell. Hydrogen, of course uh, they outright do. Right now that you can per uh, personally buy well, it. You have car. hybrids and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? Hydrogen charging, I mean, fueling stations. That's already a thing. It. It's just not as accessible as electric. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. with hydrogen, you literally have to, like, it's hydrogen. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's, what you're, that's what you're fueling, you know? No, I feel it. So so it's like. Well, I'll, I'll do some car shopping. I'll do some car because I'm done paying for that one. I just so want it's like, if you're going to get an electric, I get a legitimate, like, electric. You know, I'd look at like canoes, you know, Rivian. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah, see yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. like those are proven and tested. It's not just a battery pack with four wheels. And, because uh, they're not really trying to right, focus on that. Exactly. I feel like. You see I what I'm like. saying? It's a, it's a, what do you call it? A piecemeal or some shit? Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, we'll just take the same thing and then just put a nice little, give it a different shape. But okay. it's the same car. Okay, I see what you're saying. You get what I'm saying? Like, they're not really trying to do anything performative with it. Steering and handling. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, is, the, is the car ride quiet? How reliable is this vehicle? Uh, What's the towing capacity? You know, like, the shit that would really matter to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead no, of it just you. being, okay, yeah, it's electric. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to save money in gas, but now you're spending more money in everything else. Yeah, because I'm looking for something more spacious than a, a sedan. Because I've driven nothing but sedans. I've never I've never driven any other type of car but a sedan. And a van. So, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the van that never died. Uh, that so, was great. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I, I want to try something different, um, which is why I want to... Not just try the electric, but uh, find something that's uh, very spacious that All I right. can use. But uh, no, no. So we went ahead and um, we we spent the day uh, fixing the um, fixing the rotor, adding on to the brake, and testing test driving it. We're not dead, so because we're recording this. Yeah, the car didn't blow up. Yes, yeah. So we're there, there wouldn't be a reason for it to blow exactly. up. Exactly. Unless they don't want us here. Um, but, uh, we kind of created like a short, we kind of created like a short montage of, of us, or I should say my Stop. brother, 
Stop. Of, uh, you were the cameraman. That's your just, fault. You should turn the camera around. That's just my brother. Took a picture. <laughs> fixing the brake. So it's like I'm telling these. I'm telling people like, yeah, man, I, I fixed this brake, and they're gonna be like, it looks like your brother did the entire thing. You didn't do shit. <laughs> no, he people really are gonna be like. Help. What no. is he talking about? It's just your brother in the he camera did, fixing all the brakes. He did the, the hard stuff. He did the the. That was a that was an edit. The, that was an edit. The strong man stuff. Yeah. He did the. I wouldn't say all that. Alpha man stuff. That's what he did. I don't know what that is. What the fuck? You turned all the bolts and cranked all the shafts and <laughs> torqued all the levers. You know. I just forgot to record and myself doing it. The <laughs> the ratchets. You what? You know. I just forgot. I just forgot to record myself doing it, guys. I promise. I know how to install brakes. That's <laughs> great. yeah. Jeff did like ninety percent of the work. Yeah, it's, it's even absolutely. So when they see the video, they will know <laughs> you. D- I only did all the work that I did is only ten percent of what Jeff did. This nigga's lying. <laughs> it's only ten percent of what. So when you see the video. Just know, Jeff was out here like we didn't even have a car jack. Jeff just lifted that motor. We're going, up. we're going to put it up on our. Jeff just turned the car on its back, and we, we just fixed it. We reinstalled the brake. We're going to put it up on our social media so you guys can that see. That's crazy. Can, so you guys can see the process. But I never seen a nigga judo flip a car, bro. <laughs> that shit was crazy. No, you know what the funny thing was when you put your head behind the rotor on the on the left hand side. You're like Jeff. Can you put like? Like you wanted me to hold the car just in case. Oh yeah, absolutely. What the (laughs) fuck? What? That would be a crazy L. That man's like, I get decapitated by a wheel well. (laughs) By a wheel well. If I'm dying by wheel well, you're fucking up your back and going paralyzed. Absolutely. You better catch that motherfucker. No, that was funny. That was funny though. I've seen a woman. I've seen a child lift a car off a person. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That is that definitely possible, especially if they're in uh, serious danger. I don't like working under a car if there's. No one there. Yeah. Woof. It'd That's be a scary. Motherfucker. No, that, no, I agree. That's scary. You know what I'm saying? Dumb no, ways scary. to die, sir. Yep. Dumb ways Dumb to die. Dumb ways to die. Copywritten. Bam. That's it. Don't Allegedly. Sing anymore. Don't sing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Copywritten. Yeah. But... Hey. No, but yeah, yeah. So that's something. That's a small project that we decided to do, to do together because you know we like working with. I our still want to build the fire pit. We're gonna do the fire pit. I want to do a fire pit, and now. we're also gonna do um, shelves on the on the back. No, of the... I mean we want to do the fire pit. I know, but we're still gonna nope. do the. Nothing matters. <laughs> Nothing matters until this we get that pit. fire pit. All right, so yeah, so we're we're gonna build the fire pit. We just have to find a good area to put the fire pit in, because you know I still want the gazebo I want in the back around the flames as Gazi- we worship Lord Nika. Go ahead, the gazebo in the back, and then of course the hammock that you want to build. But um, no man, um, yeah, yeah, yeah that's kind of just something the small project that we want to do together. Sweet. Cause, and on top of that, we learn to do something new. So if we ever have an issue down the road, we at least know. But it's like your your car saves me every single time. Like you, now nah, that motherfucker been driving since. Whew, I so had that motherfucker since when I got promoted and I had the old seven. Yeah, and then I I had to go to training for one week. I got stuck in Sarasota. Oh damn! Yeah, you had to pick me up in your Kia. No, well, not pick me up. You had to give me. You had to give me a jump start. So I can get to Walmart. The guy told me that your alternator was out, but you can use the battery. But uh-huh. you have to get home before dark. Before dark. Because right. you're going to eat up the battery. You're going to eat up the battery. And then you have to get a new alternator or you're going to keep eating that battery. And keep in mind, I had training, so I had to do it the same day. So it's it's like a whole bunch of things. Uh, every time one of my cars gave out, your Kia was always there to save me. <laughs> 10 years, bro. This I'm year, telling you. This year, 10 years. Ten years that motherfucker been yep. chugging. Yep. That motherfucker, and you know what's crazy? I bought that car with four k miles on mm-hmm. it, bro. That was crazy. Yeah. That was a crazy steal. And you know what the crazy thing is? I got more miles on it yeah. on my car than you do on yours. Yeah, it was four k miles, and I bought it for for I think twelve or thirteen. Yeah. That's crazy. That almost seems magical, right? Yeah. <laughs> You what? <laughs> that almost seems crazy. Yep, yeah. it had 4K miles on it. So the person who was using it only used it like seasonally. Yeah, yeah I think it was like a seasonal car. You know what and I'm it saying? was a limited limited trim. Limited too. trim. <laughs> and then so I was like, all right, this is different. 
No one's making like I don't see anything like this. Out no, here. they don't make them anymore. Uh, yeah, they discontinued it after twenty. And then they try to buy them back from everybody that. Yeah, had they them. tried to buy them back. Absolutely. Yeah. And I was like, Nah, I'm gonna repair this motherfucker, mm. and I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't care if the value goes down. I'm still gonna hold on to it. Absolutely. Oh my god. Absolutely. Um. So so how you uh how you feeling, man? Because I know it's been almost three weeks now. Man, Since you're, uh, I'm out here, bro. I just made a new art piece. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 you know for saying? sure, for sure. Gaining new ideas and stuff like yep. that. What's it? Uh, what was uh, what inspired you to create that art piece? Um, and don't say it's because you're stuck at home. It is because I'm stuck at home. Like, give me time with with my brain. I don't know. I could come up with a lot of stuff, but it's because I'm I'm at home. I think like the hardest part was getting out of that get up and go mode yeah because i got so used to just okay i don't have time for anything today i yes. gotta go work i gotta do this i yeah. gotta do this so now like since i've been home for about two weeks now uh -huh. you know i don't know I, i'm i'm back in that mode where it's like now i have time with my thoughts gotcha you see okay so now ideas are starting to form right i feel it you know and that was the first rp piece of the year <laughs> Yeah, yes it was. Yes it was. So hopefully when you do your collage at the end, it'll be Oh yeah, that's more memorable than But that's the thing. I started at I don't know. That was a pretty hard piece, dude. I don't know. No, I'm saying cuz your your art grows. So you Right, you that's what I'm saying. Inspired. Because what what you told me you've done before is you look at last year's and see where you were at and then you look at the year before and see where you're at and then see how you've improved. And every year it gets better and better. Yes, it gets more difficult, but at least it do, you, man. Know, you know you're putting your right, time and right. energy like, and passion. I'll, I'll try it. to bullshit myself and you're like, <laughs> in no, the I process. Can't do this. And then like I'll look out I'll, I'll be halfway through. I'll be like, Yep, I'm done right now. This is it. This is all I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like, ah, oh, nah, I couldn't. Cause like when I go back at like, cause I always have the mindset I don't want this to be a piece that I hate. Yeah. Because I bullshitted myself and said, yeah, this is good. I got you. This is good as good because I could just do like really nice blending magic and then, you know, make it like really sell it. But, but you're selling yourself short when right, you do that. Right. So the more elements that I add and the more I can completely visualize my mental picture. Yeah. The, the better the end product comes out, especially once I take it to blending and, you know, fuck with the colors, the tones. Yeah. You know, shit like that. Mm. So, I don't know, man. I But it's because I have time. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? If I'm at work, I'm not thinking about that. I get home, I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. I don't want to think about shit. I just want to watch. And then you're trying to compartmentalize everything right. you have to do. Like, everything that I have to do. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it's never really. And even now, like, I would have to wait on a day off. And the one day off that I truly had was, like, Wednesday. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, it's just, I don't know, man. Like now that I've been home for 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 a minute, I've which I finally understand what you said. What do you mean? This morning, oh, it's gonna be hard to get back in that mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like uh, like I said, every morning that I wake up early, especially when I'm off, I hear your alarm, and I'm like, but he's not waking up. He's eating through the alarms again, like he used to. So right. that's not good because if I'm not here, then you're gonna f run through him. You see what I'm saying? I feel that. Because your, mind, your I mindset feel like, is. I feel like that's a lesson I need to learn. Your mindset learn. is, I don't have to go to work. So. Right. You automatically just let it keep playing. Right. So. But that's the thing. My day was filled with work. So now I have to find stuff to do. Gotcha. I have to fill that space. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's not like, oh, I'm just going to wake up. Yeah, let me go. <laughs> da, da, da. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I'm not used to that. You know? Yeah. I'm not used to that. It's like, okay, I'm not working. Now I got to. You know, and then now everything costs money. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, all right, I'm not working, but it's not because I chose not to work. Yeah. You know it's You can't work until can't work you until run I'm through good. your, yeah. Right, my yeah. checklist. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I have to do something. Mm -hmm. What was it? That wiki? That wiki how? Uh, how to have fun when you're broke? <laughs> Hallucinate. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> Uh, hallucinate shit. bro Yo, you're broke you can't have fun hallucinate bro yeah, that's it that's it it's that easy just lay <laughs> down and yep. hallucinate hallucinate yeah <laughs> now I feel it man now I feel it 
<laughs> I feel it. Oh man. No, nah, so, so no, I was uh watching something on uh on YouTube where, where Big Daddy D dropped out the race. Oh yes. Governor yes, Daddy D Governor from D. Florida. And then now he's supporting Trump. Now yeah, now he's supporting Trump. Well that and that's the thing too. It's like when the like we were talking about the other day. So would you say he's a loser? What do you mean? Not in terms of like who he is as a person, but like the only thing he's ever won was when Trump endorsed him. Like, what do you think led to his downfall? His policies, like his personality? Was I, he just too bland? Was he too robotic? I would say this, and uh, and and it's, this is not bashing him. Just to let who gives a fuck? You, you're a citizen of the United States. You have every right to bash a politician as anybody else. Because I'm trying to make sure this video goes. Who gives a fuck? Go. <laughs> okay, here say. we go. I'm gonna say what I got. Say what you got. So. Say. It's not that it's not that he's he's um what did you what did you say he sucks or whatever a loser a loser it's not that he's a loser it's it's basically everything that he's put a play a put upon us in Florida he's trying he's not looking at the rest of the United States mm -hmm. what he doesn't understand is what works in a state might not work in the other states right so he's applying what he did here and to trying to to every other and state it's like, it and like it's that. like it doesn't work like that right. because you got to understand like you said we're the united states but we're individual states in the united yeah states. we're like little mini countries we're like many countries right. in, in a, ourselves right. which is why a lot of like yes there's an overarching conservative world view mm -hmm. or or uh 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 national view or political view yes but like conservative in their right exactly you see what i'm saying exactly. like what's conservative in florida versus what's conservative in texas exactly versus what's conservative in south carolina yep. versus what's conservative tennessee. in tennessee yep you see what i'm saying yes overarchingly yes there's like a conservative umbrella exactly but, but like the the, the level of uh, exactly is, is different you for everybody me? so Everybody in Florida that 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 wanted um, is either retired, yep, young as fuck, or they're rich as fuck. And the thing is, the state's becoming young because everybody's right. Moving, everybody's moving here, but what they don't understand is the values that they have in Florida are not are di they differ from every other state. Mm -hmm. So him trying to apply everything here to other states are is not going to work right. because when i would watch some, some of the things that he would talk about the first his first go-to was well i knew a lady five years ago and she was in this so he would start every every <laughs> every debate or conversation with a story like everybody from the other states are going to understand they're all florida stories there are florida people stories, in Fl right. people in every other state already know right. we're crazy as fuck so you talking about stories in Florida. You, you can't How make us that? come off endearing. What yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're crazy. Exactly. <laughs> Every other state knows we're crazy. So why would we're you crazy. So why what? would you but, try, you're trying to sympathize <laughs> you're trying to sympathize to the masses was about that one, was that one TikTok <laughs> category five? <laughs> Cake. <laughs> <laughs> Cake. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, man. so so it's like him trying to him trying to sympathize with people from different states they don't understand what it is oh i knew a person that went through hurricane this and they lost their homes okay some people in other states are going through mudslides uh, blizzards snowstorms uh, tornadoes what nation is a hurricane yeah, exactly <laughs> they don't even know what that is but that's what i'm saying so it's like for him to Word. he needs to relate to the people where we could he needs to find something that um in our state that relates to most of the states because right. of course not every state is republican and not every person is going to vote for it right that's facts so that's facts. i would say he needs to find a way to relate to the people of the united states because if he had won um the um the iowa or went went all the way to the top let's say let's say trump didn't lose but him. he's not charismatic though i understand but, what, just... but i'm saying let's say he did make it all the way to the top you mm -hmm. need to be able to relate to the people not just florida because it's like um it's like this. This is how I look at it. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll use my job and my management as an example. This is the biggest issue with management, and then I'll correlate it to how it connects to the the governor of Florida. Mm -hmm. So when you're in management, you choose a department. You get promoted in that department. So you, all you do is focus on it. All you know is it. 
Mm-hmm. Are you are trained in? Is it? Mm-hmm. When you get to assistant store manager, what is now your department? A bell store. Exactly. But this is the biggest issue with a lot of managers, department managers that become assistant store managers. They always focus on their department. If a grocery manager becomes an assistant store manager, they stay in their department. If and a customer service manager right. um, becomes an assistant store manager, they stay in the department. If a deli manager becomes an assistant store manager, they stay. They focus on their department. That's the biggest issue. That mindset, they cannot get out of their own bubble and then say, okay, it's not just my corner, it's the entire store. Mm-hmm. Same thing with DeSantis. He focuses on Florida, and he's trying to – and he and he needs to think about the entire country, not just Florida. And that's what he kept doing. Every time he gave a speech, he would focus on stories in Florida. Mm-hmm. He would focus on disasters <laughs> that happened in Florida. And I get it. That's your own personal experience. But if you've been around the world and you've had meetings and you've been to the state and you've been to the Senate and you understand what the country is and what's going on with it and the peril of the country, speak on that. Speak out how you would improve it. Speak on what you would do. Mm -hmm. Speak how you can try to make it better. Mm -hmm. Because all he kept talking about is things in Florida and fighting wokeness, which I understand. I dog, I knew that was going to be his biggest downfall. <laughs> exactly. I knew that. It, and that's, it, and, and that, I called that shit last yeah, year. And, like, and that's it. it. And he got to understand. He's not talking to the adult, the old people. He needs to. He, you're talking to the kids because they're the ones that are going to be voting for you. That's what's crazy. You see what I'm saying? So, sometimes you got to make certain compromises. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. that's what politics is mm-hmm. in order to get the mass. What do a lot of polit- politicians do? They'll tell us what we want to hear, and then we vote. Yeah, sweet nothing. Like I always joke around. Sweet I'm like, nothing. whoever whoever tells me the best lie is who I vote for. Pretty you much. see what I'm saying? I joke around and say stuff like that, but Pretty at the same much. time, I'm being um, I'm being serious. So it's like that's what you should have done. You're only focusing on the ones that are old school, traditional, n- never want to have a m- open mindset uh, or a change mindset. It's just. What I learned and grew up on is what I will speak upon, and then uh, then I will mostly focus on what I know of Florida, but not what of the country. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like when you go to Iowa, learn about it. When you go to Texas and you speak in Texas, learn about it before you get there. Don't just keep bringing stories back from Florida and then speaking to people in Texas. Because if you're trying to win people over in Texas, speak about something that you can improve in Texas right. as the president as of the, the United States. United States. What's States. the biggest issue in Texas that you can fix? Right. What's the biggest issue in in, in um Tennessee that that uh, you can fix what's the biggest issue in all these other states that you can fix stop talking about Florida you're not in Florida if you're in Florida talk of Florida all you want right but if you're not in Florida don't talk about we had you for six years we already know what you could do (coughs) exactly we already seen what you could do exactly and I think that was the issue (laughs) was it T-Pain do something else (laughs) do something else (laughs) you guys are giving me the same shit do something else. Do something else. Yeah. So I that that's why he that that's what 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 his downfall was, and I believe that's the only only reason why because Trump didn't even have to be at the Iowa caucus and he won. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's how that's how, that's how strong. That nigga built it. It's just it's, it's an aberration. Yes, yeah. it's, it's it's an anomaly. Exactly. It's an anomaly in the timeline. Yeah. All the timelines converged, and this is that moment. Yes. It this is. is the convergence yes. of the timeline. In every single timeline. This motherfucker wins. That means it must happen. This is a canon event. You cannot avoid it. <laughs> exactly. You can't avoid it, sir. Yeah, That's, so DeSantis uh, was rejected. Rejected. Yeah, so. Rejected. But that's that's just my opinion on it. I think that's what he could have done better and improved. <laughs> And I don't oh, have to man. be a politician to, to give my opinion. This is my opinion and my opinion alone. But I think that's that was his biggest downfall. Mm-hmm. His most focus was on our state and not the country. Right. And it's like, so if you go to the White House, you're going to be in Florida the most or you're going to focus on the country? <laughs> you're going to be in Florida. What the fuck? Exactly. Dog, where was Trump when he was in the White House? Florida. Okay, stop playing. Mar-a-Lago. What was running the country in you Mar-a-Lago? What? Stop playing. <laughs> No, you're right. You're right. <laughs> oh man, who you're don't right. want to be here, bro? You're right. It's Florida. Was he? he isn't he originally from uh, New York, New York City? He could be. I have no idea. Mm. Yeah, but um, no. So now it's just uh, what's the what's the last two candidates left? Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley. So yep, yep, yep. Nikki Haley and I, I don't know anything about her. I'm not gonna pretend I do. If she ha- Ooh, she could low key be a dark horse, bro. I'm not even going. We'll see. Well, yeah, because he because the, the news gotta understand. Cause, Cause, okay, here's what you gotta understand, right? Uh-huh. It's still centrist on both sides. Yeah, 
that don't want neither Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Of course, of course. Oh, so you're thinking that they'll right. just take the take the high road she, and she could be like the craziest <sighs> compromise, but that chance is very very tiny because you literally have like it's crazy. I don't I don't care what you call it. You could call it a cult, a fucking political affiliation, a party, whatever. Yeah. Damn motherfuckers is different. I don't know, bro. No, I feel I've like- never like I've. I've read in history books about motherfuckers like worshiping a, a, a person like that. He's a deity. Like that's crazy to me. I don't know what it is. Like I, whether you agree with him or not, I don't. And, and it's not like I agree or disagree with you. It's just that's crazy. I can't put the fate of humanity on one person. I will never believe the fate of humanity or of a country. No, it's could a co- solely rest on one it's person. Collective, right? It's like. Collective. Like I, I look at that and I and I immediately think, you know, um, like situation happening in Haiti, right? Yeah. Where it's like, when will anything change until the people yes. decide it will change? Yeah, of course. Doesn't matter how many motherfuckers you put in office. Yeah, the people. How many have motherfuckers to make that you coup, yeah. you know what I'm saying? How many faux coups are established out there? It's like we can never put our faith entirely on one person. Like that's just it's not it's not realistic. Right. I feel like you're setting yourself up for failure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you support um especially if you support someone who who's pushing your ideals um instead of just supporting them 100% to fulfill all those, do things behind the scenes to help that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like actually be hands-on with it. You know, no, I feel yeah. The country, the one person cannot make a decision that, which is why, yeah. e- even though he does executive orders, they can still they can veto still, it, right? Or they can still block, like bec- because they want to. I just don't like the deification of him. Like he's just this omnipotent executive order. I'm gonna dismantle all these structures of power. Yeah, you know, and and do what you see. What I'm saying like that's I don't know. That's weird. I can't. I can't give my, you know, yeah, brain to something. No, I feel it. Nah, that's that's weird. I don't care if they if they agree with my ideals or not. Like, if I start see, if I believe in something strongly, and then the person pushing that idea has now brainwashed everyone to believe that. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm part of a majority. Yeah. In that in that aspect, like I'm gonna be like, nah, something's off. There's yeah. not enough parity. Something's off. No, I feel it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. As long as it doesn't involve like violence, political violence, but like in terms yeah, yeah, of yeah, yeah, we did not stuff. right ideology and stuff like mm-hmm. that. I don't know. That gets weird when I don't know. Well, that's why it's uh, it's it, that's why to me it comes off weird sometimes, especially if it's like a um, if it's like a uh, a customer, they'll right. they'll wear the hat and they'll specifically walk in front of me or talk to me and say certain things. Because I, I, I'm guessing they want a reaction. And it's like, well, why would you want that? I'm not the type of person that looks at a hat and says, oh, I'm going to destroy you. Like, that's crazy. That's, it that's doesn't crazy. shake my soul. It doesn't. <laughs> like, it doesn't bother me if you. And, and then it I'll. Doesn't. Be, yeah, because it, it's, it's weird because it's like. I already think English is stupid. Yeah. Because you could do shit like that. That's why English is stupid. Yeah. So, <laughs> so for me, it's like you'll ask me where something is, but then you'll start bringing up politics <laughs> And then I'm like, okay, uh, would you like help with anything else, sir? Oh, and I'm guessing they didn't get the reaction that they wanted. And it's like, you're literally going out there looking for somebody to be angry. I don't know, that's weird. So dude. putting yourself in danger just to prove a point is insane to me. You but that's the saying? thing. Like, why would that? See, now you look at this person, right? This is an incendiary person that's yeah. looking to incite something. Yeah. All right, now look at the other lens. Why are you getting mad? I, Why is yeah, this person that, now in yeah. danger? That means there are other people yeah. who disagree with him with his same mentality. Exactly. There, there, yeah, there's evil on both sides. Because you know it's like if you react to something so benign as that, then it, to me it's a waste of energy. I don't, I don't get angry for little things like that. So it's like, and then of course, if you hear certain things like, well, um, not to bring race into it, but uh, if black people don't like Trump, you're going to specifically look for somebody of that color just to see if they react the way you've seen it on TV or the Internet. 
that's weird to me. That pe- that people that people actually do that. I don't know because everything's content. Dude. Oh Jesus Christ! Everything's content. Everything's content. What's it's fucking it? weird. No, but that I'm not that type Everything. of person. Like I said, I don't care what, what a party or affiliation you're it's part of. It's all part of the 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 road to the singularity. The road to the singularity. Oh yeah, we're we got to be there. brainwashed one way or the other, yes, right? Sir. Yes, sir. I agree. I agree. You know what I'm saying we're yeah, all heading there. We're, we're going. We're going there together. Know. Whether you're, uh, whether you're bi- biologically enhanced or mechanically enhanced. We're See all, you at the singularity. Yes, we're all going there. I'm just saying. I love this. I love this. But no, no, yeah. So, um, no, this is gonna be interesting to see. Um, who's uh who's gonna get to the top because like you said she might be a dark horse so she that, could be, so that, that'll be different we'll see after new hampshire yes because she has been gaining. well she did say even if she does lose in new she's hampshire gonna keep she's riding. gonna go back to her city which is south, south carolina, carolina she, which is gonna be the final one not her city her state her state but she said she's uh she said she's gonna go to her she's her gonna state. go all the way to the end yeah she doesn't care she doesn't care yeah she doesn't care she'll probably use her own money just to. that's get actually kind of scary yeah like if you think about it like I feel it though. Yeah, I commend the the tenacity. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't give me Hillary vibes, so I'm chill. Yeah, Hillary was trying to. Uh, uh, nah, that was some weird shit, dog. Please, everybody. Nah, that was some weird. Nah, that shit. was weird. Nah, she was a fucking pandering machine. Yep. That's how I knew I was just like, nah, bro. No sir. No sir. That's why I'm believing that. Oh, this is the we're the good side. We're here to save you. Nope. Nah. A lot of people don't know that. Nope. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, man. Um. So, like I said, that's gonna be interesting. Uh. Ag- again, uh, give you Big Daddy D. That's that's the reason why he's out. Unfortunately. Yeah. Hey, at least. Wait. Is he up for a, no twenty twenty six? Yeah. Remember, if he had gotten there, he would have stepped down as a uh, right. But still, twenty twenty six. Yeah, twenty twenty six. He has two more years. Yeah. But um. No. No. But unless he gets, could he get? I don't know. Really? No, when did he win his second election? 2022 or 2020? Has it been two years already? Uh, it's 2024, right? Yeah, yeah. Because the midterm was 2022, right? He, yeah, he was... Um, He was... um. Because he got elected in 2016. During the pandemic? No, 2016. His re-election. Uh, his re-election was 20... Because I think it's six years. So twenty twenty, he in so the middle. So twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty. Okay, so it was like a little over after the pandemic. Yeah. yeah, I think that's when his midterm came up. Okay, all right, I got you. Yeah, and then, his, and then he decided to try to run for president. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, no, no. Like I said, um, it, this will be an interesting year. There's a lot going on um, behind the scenes, which we are paying attention to. It's crazy. It doesn't was, matter. We we don't want the out either of the outcomes. Well, not just not just the election. Other things. Oh. Yeah. Like how? CBDC. Uh, oh, word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, I, I, I'm i saying maybe third quarter. Or no, 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 summer. No, summer. remember the having is happening in April. Right. May, June, summer. <laughs> you what? Oh, you, you think the happening happens and then everything just fucking shoots to the moon no no okay it's gonna it's 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 a slow no it's It's gonna be a fake pump everyone's gonna all the big corps are gonna dump their shit crash the stock everyone's gonna sell then they're gonna come right back in buy it all up again and then what what are we even talking about everybody what do we even i will stay till the end with diamond hands diamond hands (laughs) diamond (laughs) yeah yeah, no, but uh, no, yeah, like I said, this year's gonna be very interesting. Um, uh, not like I said, not just with with uh, whatever's going, and then of course, uh, NATO practicing drills now. Oh, yeah, they're Operation What? I don't know, I don't know. we start World War Three. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Operation. <What>? This is <laughs> uh, no Operation, <laughs> that's what it's called. No, it's all Operation. Fake. Operation you what? You know what? Here's the L that's about to happen. Please, here's expl- the, explain the L, here's sir. Here's two L's we're about to take. Explain right? the L. Right? All right. So, let's say Biden lose, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> now we're in full-scale war with the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> Who finna pick that up? 
uh, whoever wins. <laughs> Who's going to pick that up? Whoever wins. You see, the setup is fucking immaculate. Whoever wins. It's an ultimatum. Remember what I told you last year, Jeff? It's just a hostage situation. Yes. That's all it is. That is all it is. I agree with you. It's just a hostage situation. Come on, man. Why do we all of a sudden want to start cooking shit in the Middle East on an election year? Like, yep. get the fuck out of here. Exactly. Bro. So he's basic. Yeah. It's basically it's uh, ultimatum. It's like I'm gonna start a war, and if you don't vote for me, <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> that man's stupid. That's crazy. He's like, I'm gonna leave you with this shit. Oh man, that's crazy. Yep, I'm gonna leave this shit in your hands. He's like, I'm gonna ruin you. He's like, I'm gonna ruin you, Trump. You gonna pick up a war off of my hands so quick? Oh yeah, I believe that. You gonna pick up a war off of my hands so quick, bro? I believe that. Cause let's say we do go head into full scale war with these, uh-huh. with with that region. You think Trump's gonna come in and be like, "Yeah, war's over. We're leaving." No, get the fuck out of here. No. <laughs> How many weapons do we have? Get the fuck out of here. You, th- you, you think you think our enemies are just gonna be like, "Oh, guys, Biden's gone. <laughs> We're good now. We're friends." <laughs> The war's over. Everyone can go home. Nah, Trump's in office. Like we love that guy. What? No, that's not how that nah, fucking works. Work like that. <laughs> you burned my house to the ground. My family's dead. What, what am I going to do? do? <laughs> oh. Sensational. No, oh, that's man. Crazy. We're retarded. That's crazy. It's all a setup, bro. No, it is. Either way, we lose. Either way, we lose, bro. Engaging autopilot like a motherfucker, yep. bro. Hey, the the Bruh. first the first four years, and then uh, I'm doing it with Biden Stand now. Stand by mode like a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. What? You have a pre-programmed response from me every single time, bro. No, I feel it. I feel it. What the fuck? I feel it. Now we gotta wait till what? 2028. Yes, 2028. Hey, it's closer to 2030, right? <laughs> yep. That's dope. Who's next? That's dope. Who's next? But don't you think by then all the, the all the boomer candidates for president are gonna be gone? Yeah, it's gonna be the. They're pretty much the last ones, right? Gen X. All right, because no one's gonna, no one their age is like, no, we're not doing that again. Absolutely not, unless that Trump meme comes true, where it's like <laughs> he keeps zooming in, Trump twenty twenty eight, twenty forty, or no, twenty forty two, twenty forty six, Trump, and then. I seen an article <laughs> that was journey where Trump said, I don't know who, what it was. I don't know if it was like a rabbi or something. Yeah. He said this motherfucker was about to live 200 years. <laughs> the rabbi said that? I don't know. Like I, I, it was like, I was just kind of scrolling through it. Like some religious ceremony where, um, one of the people said he would live 200 years. Wow. That's crazy. That would be crazy. That's really something. This motherfucker's what seventy? I don't know. You don't know. He looks the same. He's like I don't know and I don't care. Yeah, I don't. Autopilot. <laughs> it's time for autopilot. Oh man! Remember, I don't care until it affects my life. That's how we all human. It, it, all, is, that's it how is affecting your life. Yeah. yeah. It is affecting. It your is. Life. Yeah. Like at this moment, right? Now. Oh yeah, for sure. It's just not affecting you as bad as the people. Everybody else. Right. I feel it. You're right. The people below you or the uh, and it's not affecting the people above you as much as it is affecting you. But it's affecting it's affecting, affecting, it's affecting everyone. It just doesn't feel like it's affecting me. Right, because you're numb to it. You're desensitized to it. Gotcha. It's too much chaos that all at once. Sense. So you just okay, whatever. That makes sense. Just white noise. You're just static. Yeah. You know? Yep, yep. And then when something changes, you'll feel it. Everyone will feel it. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know? Everyone will feel it. Nah, I feel it. Acceleration is all. Speed it up. Get yeah. it to the end. Get it done. Get it over with. Get it over with. Let's all enjoy the ride while it lasted. All right. But um, <coughs> you ready for February, man? What's happening in February, Joe? You wanna you wanna announce what's happening in February, or you wanna make that a surprise? I wanna make that a surprise. Cool beans. Maybe in a couple more episodes think we have only no we still got a w- two weeks we got thursday and then next and the next remember we have like a solid like week and a half yeah you're right you're right yeah. it's this week and then next week and then that's it yeah we got a solid week and a half brother gotcha 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can definitely do that because I know we have an. Well, we got a nice street for you guys. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Got an interview on the third coming up, so. Yeah. You remember that, right? Yeah, I requested yes, I that do. day off. <laughs> Make sure I wasn't working. What day is that? Saturday. Yep. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Still can't request it. It's still blackout day. <laughs> Boy, what the fuck? This guy. Boy, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy. What we sitting? I shadow cloned you to that motherfucker. Right. Fifty. Fifty yo. Okay. Right. Fifty round. You got any final thoughts? Me. Um. Yeah. Any last words? Anything you want to bring up? Any uh, future prospects? Like, no, I'm kind of sad we didn't really have a true winter this year. Yeah, you're right, but at least my plants are dead. Yeah, but I still kind of wanted to. Every year my plants die. I wanted to freeze to death. That's how you know the plants getting warmer. No, I wanted to freeze to death. I wanted frost. I wanted to see ice on my cars. You're the I one. I wanted to tremble. So I knew the wrath of Mother Nature. No, I don't respect nature. You're the one that gets cold. I don't respect nature anymore. Inside the house at 78 degrees. Doesn't matter. I wanted to feel cold outside. I wanted a reason to turn on the heater and make hot chocolate. This nigga. I didn't get to do none of that shit. You I got could, We baked. did have hot chocolate. We had that. No, house. it's hot as fuck. Hell no. Nah. We had it at mom's house last year. Because it was actually cold. It was actually yeah, cold yeah. at that time. That's terrible. Well, we still have February. February's the last. No, yeah. it's fake. February's fake winter. That ain't no real What do you winter. mean? No, nope. it's the winter. No, nope, because it's warm with love. <laughs> Fuck February, bro. So the the Lions won. Mm-hmm. And I know the Kansas, I don't know who won. Was it the Kansas City Chiefs? The, the Lions beat the Tam- Tampa Bay. So Tampa's out. So you know if the Kansas City Chiefs won or um, I don't know what team were they playing. Oh, wait. Super Bowl's in, in the back already? Yes. Yeah. Super. There's only four more teams left. Super. I think. Don't quote me on this, guys. I'm not a sports person. Uh, no, not yet. Not, who, yet. not yet. Not yet. Who won? Or oh, the Kansas City Chiefs haven't played yet? Let me see. Because they, I think they won Super Bowl last year. Do, 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 do. Yep, Chiefs beat the Bills. Okay, twenty, and then of course the Lions beat the, the Bucks. Yes, sir. So it's probably going to be the Kansas City Chiefs and somebody else again. But um, no, I, I would say um, I'm not. I, I don't really watch sports like you guys do, but um, I, c- I can't wait for the commercials. Hopefully, they ain't shitty this year. Do they even still invest in? The, no, yes, they don't. Because Deadpool's they're going to say play the Deadpool. I bet you it's gonna be on YouTube before it show up on it is. TV. It is. So like, what it probably about? is. Like, don't give a fuck about that. Shit. It like, is. Ain't no it waiting is. live television. Who what does the that? heck? What's a live? What the heck? That's why they added it to the apps. But uh, I have to take time out of my actual life to wait for nah, a commercial. For me, the crazy thing is like they moved Super Bowl. It's not the first Sunday anymore. It's the second Sunday, and then it's literally two days, and uh, after val- before Valentine's Day. Really? No, not two days. Three days. I thought it was on February 6th that one year. No. Last year they started doing the second week. The second week. So the 14th or some shit? No, the 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 second Sunday of the month. It's not the first Sunday of the month anymore. It's the second Sunday. But then I was told back in the um, late 90s, early 2000s, it was actually the last last Sunday of of, January. January. The second Sunday, bro? Yes. That's all the way out on the 11th. Yes. So, Super Bowl Sunday and then Valentine's Day is the 14th. Dang. I feel it. I don't know. I think that's kind of lame, though. It is. I would have liked Super Bowl right early in the And that's why in the th- month. That, that's how it was when I was, gro- when I was growing mm-hmm. up. That's how I remember it. Because now you have like, all right, Super Bowl is lit. Da, yeah. Da, da. And then a week later... Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Nah, it's just me? three days later. Valentine's. Right. So it's like you got to hurry up and buy Super Bowl, and then you're, you're right. Trying. You're broke after your Super Bowl parties yes. or going to the Super Bowl and shit like that. And then now you gotta. Sorry, guys, you're gonna be broke. <laughs> it's a setup, bro. It is a setup. <laughs> they make Girl, billions of dollars. Your, every, your partner. Or they the make Super billions Bowl. of dollars every year for Valentine's Day. Part- it's not for you, man. It's for your ladies. Good luck. Oh, man. <laughs> that's tough. Yeah, that is. That's that tough. is tough. Mm. So, but no, no, yeah. So, um, I'm, I'm ready for that. But it's like February's already coming, Jeff. 
I don't know why you have eleven more months till Christmas. Illusion. I hate you. You see, because I knew that's where you were going. I knew that's where you were going. I don't know why you keep trying to. Uh, see, you know what I should do every month. I should, I should start. I should start counting down. I don't know why you why you're trying to cast this illusion spell to me like the years flying by. Ten more months. This has been the longest <laughs> January of my life. You tripping? This is the fastest you January tripping. of my life. Five whole weeks. Of Hell fucking yeah. January that's of shortness. Crazy. That's crazy. My reality. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm just spouting bullshit right now. <laughs> Let's end this. Let's end this. this all right, Jeff. Bullshit. Take us all, man. It's, it's late out here. Bro. All right, all right. Guys, if you want to catch and watch. Hey. Hold on. Hey. He, has to, he has to. Oh, by the way, if we we are uh, uh, ghetto mechanics, so if you ever want our expertise. <laughs> it had to be ghetto, Jeff. Oh, man. We try. We know how to fix certain things. We are seasoned. We are seasoned mechanics. Go ahead, man. <laughs> I hate you, man. Just go. Oh, man. Take us home, guys. I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm in pain. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics. That's one word, guys. Yes. <laughs> Our Triple T's Clips channel and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and day. And we'll see you on Thursday. See ya. See ya.